So I challenged myself to get down into the splits in seven days. I asked some of my friends to come and help me out who were more than happy to come and inflict some pain on me. So do you even think it is possible to get down into the splits in seven days? Let's find out. So guys, yes, we are going to see if it is even possible to get down into the splits in a week. Just a little disclaimer before we get into the video, all the footage that you're going to see was filmed before the coronavirus lockdown, hence me having hair and the gym's actually still been open. But taking on this challenge to learn the splits in a week is always going to be a tough ordeal. That is why I have got some help from some of my friends, a yoga instructor, two gymnasts and a physiotherapist. So we're going to learn everything from the biomechanics of the body and how the muscles work when they are stretched to how brutal gymnasts can be when learning the splits when they are young. Ping. Putting all that to one side, we had to find out our baseline and find where we're at before we even started the challenge. And as well, we need to find some stretches that we are going to be able to do in the gym to help this process. So we will cut to the clip of me finding out what my baseline. Guys, so to start this challenge off, it is super important that we get a baseline so we know what we're testing. We're gonna go into box splits and then we're gonna do front splits both left and right and see where we're at. We'll start with the middle splits and then we will go out into the front splits. Whereabouts are we measuring from? Right on the hip bone. Yeah? yeah, yeah, I'm getting close here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this is nice, so we'll find middle splits first in this strength range. No, we're going right from top of pelvis there, yeah. Yeah, so that's got us at, get some tension, 28. 28, oh my God, <laughs> a long way to go. 28 inches on middle splits and then left forward first. So we're just gonna slide steadily into this. <laughs> that elegant slide. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is from, the bottom of that leg, 14 on that side. Oh my God. Oh, looked really far away when you put it out like that. Yeah, more like that. <laughs> this side I'm definitely better at staying active, isn't it? Breathe more. On this side, we're looking a bit nicer, 13. Oh, uh, that side does feel better to be honest. So 13 inches on that side. Not the most elegant. I don't think it looks very pretty, but we've got a baseline. We know where we're starting. We know where we're at. So what we want to be going for and what we want to be looking like. So, <laughs> so today Jack is going to help us at getting into the splits using like say yoga stretches and he's bringing plates over and kettlebells so I don't know what this is going to be like but apparently I think we're going to be adding weight to all of these different elements of stretches so we're not only like looking at the yoga style of things we're looking at like functional movements being really really strong throughout the range of motion that we're creating right middle splits good mornings keep the chest tall shoulders back drive into the ground to stand up take the weight forward come back up sit back down Wish I didn't have sweaty feet right now on a carpet. That. My hips. Just the back. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> One day. So as you can see. Feeling a little bit tight, my legs are up high. Bring the feet together, anchor the feet. So I'm set up nice and tall. Either take hold wherever you can, trying to drive the knees down. You've got 10 seconds of a press. You use your breath to allow it to relax and then release. As soon as we've done that, get into your plate and allow it to open the hips. Lift up tall, big squeeze at the top and then control the movement back down. Couple of sets of this and you start feeling the difference and neither get into the floor. Add tight little hips. Add tight little hips. <laughs> this part of the movement I really like is really like functionally building strength in this end of range, isn't it? So these ones I help you with your front splits, right? And it's about being able to get into here, but you can see how I can sink right into my hips. This is not necessarily where I want to be. We've got to engage so we're strong in this position to start with. So we're getting into the hip flexor because we need this for when we're getting out and then we just work back and forward. So dropping back, because remember I'm trying to get out to this position. So to do that, I want to be here, right? Bottom ribs always in contact with the thigh because this is going to keep our back in a nice smooth position when we're trying to work. Hip flexor lunge position first. I think for the position we want to try and achieve, we're going to be higher up the posture though. Yeah. Which is then going to allow this to tuck under and get more length in the front of the body. On these ones, you want to be sitting for a minute, two minute, minutes. Two minutes, yeah. Going back, foot up, well, foot facing up. Yeah, slide the leg forward a little bit. Good, now I'm trying to position. Bend the knee. Take the bottom rib right down onto it. 
good. Now take the bum backwards and tilt the bum. See how we're looking from much more neutral back? Straight back in. And then let's go hands down and take hold of the back leg. Right, okay. Yeah. That way, isn't it? Oh, my quad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So as soon as you tense your core or tense your glutes, you, you know that you want tensing them properly before. So what we're trying to achieve in this position is long posture. So head forward, back leg backwards, but keeping this knee over the ankle. As it gets better, we're going to flatten out this whole position. Oh, yeah. But again, that's going to take time. Foot in my mouth. <laughs> 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 Need big shoes that you're going to Second. So we're going to be active with this back leg, get the back knee to Just keep your hands down for this one, just so we're safe through this area. We're going to be here, and then to get back, slide backwards. Oh my god. Right guys, so now we've got a little bit of initial plan in place. We can spend some time going through some stretches, getting our body nice and mobile and as loose as we can, working towards these splits. Obviously flexibility in gymnastics is absolutely essential, so that's why I headed over to Niall Wilson Gymnastics Gym and let him and Luke and a few of the guys over there put me through some absolutely brutal stretching regimes and stretching programs, what they go through when they're younger and they're working on their flexibility as gymnasts. So guys, we're at Niall at the Wilson Gymnastics Gym in Rotherham. Niall and Luke are going to be taking me through some extreme gymnastic stretches and what they do when they're younger, when the kids and the growing up and they're trying to learn the splits. So I'm sure this is going to be brutal, it's going to be painful. We're going to get it done and I'm going to hopefully, hopefully get the splits. Oh okay. hey! <laughs> oh we're vlogging are we? Ah! <laughs> in Niall Wilson Gymnastics. First one. On your knees. On my knees. One leg in front. You might have to pass me his leg up. Niall. <laughs> That's it. Look at you, three men on you. Ready? Push them hips forward. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Straight leg. <sighs> There we go, and then we push your hips balls like that. Yeah. There you go, Ag. <laughs> that looks really, really comfortable. And all these are all coming out as well. Lovely. <laughs> what rolls? What rolls? <laughs> so. Yeah, it was the same, I don't know what about. Say what? No, 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 no. Yeah, 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 down, down. So you've got to show off. So you've got to do the like. But what, the thing about that is, the best thing that we did was, so my coach used to warm me there for 60 to 90 seconds, then you'd resist for 10 hard, yeah, yeah. and then he'd pull you again for like a bit yeah, further. Yeah. I don't know what that's, you'll know the technical term yeah. for it. PNF. PNF! <laughs> PNF names. flexibility! <laughs> not naming any names, but you used to be tapping your coach, didn't you? Like, yeah. you're like, you're like, yeah, pineapples! Ah, pineapples! Pineapples! My safe word! Pineapples! Hoggle! <laughs> Remember, we used to do the one on the bench and you'd coach either side. So it's like, with all the stretching I've been doing so far, I've either been using weights or I've been using like my own resistance and pushing myself, so having someone else to actually push you and really progress it's hello there but yeah it's good using like the pnf style stretching and different things like that it's obviously really really good to keep progressing and keep pushing you and you can explain this while you're doing this mate legs like that me and like it, almost like me and Niall will be on the other side yeah. you're right, you are yeah, yeah, yeah. we're going to say we're just going to breathe breathe <laughs> the key is stretch is breathing just relax breathe breathe. breathe be present with it Enjoy it, man. Enjoy that pain that is Good horrible and you want to end instantly. Yeah, all oh, yeah, I do. Yeah. Oh. There she is. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah. Hello. Yeah, there there she is. Oh, hello. <laughs> Let's go a little bit more. Oh. 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 <laughs> I'm going to stick to this side. Yeah. Oh. Get knee down. Relax, relax, relax. Drill. Let's rest it. Pushing right down there. A lot of people try and skew the hips to get further down. So like, go there and twist the hips to get further. So you really got to concentrate on keeping it there. Imagine you've got a pole sticking out. You want to keep it horizontal like that. Come on. Oh. Nearly. Oh my god. Oh. So obviously like the gymnastics kids are pushed to their absolute limits with these kind of flexibility and stretching drills. These are absolute killers, but I can see why they're so flexible and so mobile. But I'm gonna to have to use some of these skills over the next couple of days to get going. And hopefully Friday we will have the splits and we will get right down. Sick. This is an everyday thing for gymnasts as well. It's not like a 
you know, once a week, every single session, 20, 30 minutes stretching like this. But like you do a workout and it burns a bit and towards the end. Yeah. This it's like it burns Constant. from the start and, and then it stops, you go further. Yeah, further. yeah. It burns, burns. <laughs> it's sick. Yeah, it's sick. It's right. good, it's good. Need to do more of it. Well done, mate. <laughs> Jesus Christ, them gymnasts put themselves through some absolutely brutal, brutal flexibility drills. But you can see why they're so flexible. Doing that on a daily basis is going to be absolutely crazy. But I did want to learn more about what is going on at a biomechanical level of the body. So knowing what is actually happening to the muscles when we're doing these stretches, when we're doing all these kind of intense movements and to see what actual damage or what benefits we're going to have from doing this kind of intense, intense stretching. Right, so obviously there's a number of different things that can affect your ability to do with the splits. We've been talking through how gymnasts, especially from a young age, get trained and do a lot of mobility exercises and good coach basically pushes them into these different positions. So I think that tickled me when I been told me about his quest to do the splits in a week was when you become an adult as the sarcomeres within the muscle fibers themselves change you become less able to stretch so that you can you can optimize what range you've got you can create little tears a little bit like van damme with his doing the splits you can create little tears and heal little tears and heal but unlike with a child which is still pliable and still bendy they can learn quite quickly to do the splits whereas adam's gonna have to literally maximize himself and then just see how much he wants to tear himself to try and get through into a full yeah, split. So basically I'm just tearing my muscles and completely like pulling my muscles, tearing them, letting them heal, doing it again, doing it again as much as I can in a week. So guys, I thought I'd just jump in here and tell you a little bit about what the sarcomate actually is. So if you break down a muscle fibre and you look at that in a microscope, it'll look a little bit like a row and the little individual sections inside of the row, they're all your muscle fibres basically and each little section and each little bit is a sarcomate. So that is the bit that we're trying to get the most out of, we're trying to stretch and even in sometimes we're trying to tear slightly to get the most out of the mobility that we can. It's just like we're going to go through some different hamstring lengthening and some different techniques that we use in physio to improve mobility. Because I have had a previous hamstring injury, so when I am stretching out, that is the area that is kind of limiting my movement. So we are focusing on that and doing some treatment to lengthen the muscles using a, like residual inhibition and needling and different manual therapy techniques to actually improve that range of motion and improve my motion as much as I can. So when we're going through these big stretches, what you've got to remember is the neural system goes through and with these muscles. So you're not just stretching, say a hamstring stretch, you're not just stretching your hamstring, you're stretching all the fascia, you're stretching the nerve, you're stretching the blood vessel. If you've got a little bit of a nip of a nerve, your brain will send a reflex to either power down that side or increase tone, so make the muscle of which the, the nerves kind of surrounded tighter. So the analogy would be, if I was pulling your hair and you had a ponytail, grab your ponytail to stop it yanking on the root. So people who have chronically tied hamstrings who don't do a lot of sport, they're like, oh yeah, my hammies are always tight, they're always sore. That's most likely neural guarding because you've got a tight nerve. That can play in as well. So it doesn't matter if you're bendy wendy and you're doing all the right things. If your brain's inhibiting your process to protect a different structure, you need to feel into that. You need to, you need to work those things through as yeah, well. Yeah, so there's obviously there's different areas that you should be focusing on if that is the issue. So maybe it might be the back, you need to mobilise your lower back. It might be the glutes mm -hmm. or something like that. It's not necessarily a muscle that we're targeting when we're trying to do the splits. But these different things are going to affect the nerve and have pulling on these different points when you're creating this new range of motion. Your body's not aware of what to do in this range of motion. Being in that range of motion and then trying to like load these positions is more likely to cause injury. So there's loads of problems. We call it neuromuscular control. Do you know how to move within that new little bit? And it's all about trying to add in some exercises and add in part of the elements of the control and stretching in certain positions where you are active in this movement and you're teaching your body that, you, okay, you need to be active when you're in this position. This is what it, this is what it feels like to have the new range. Functional control, you're, you're adding there athletically aesthetic. I mean, yeah. if it's looking good, it's fine, but it still needs to work functionally. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Reevaluate. So you might be doing a stretching program, but then you have to do a bit of strengthening to get that new bit yeah, of control, yeah. and then that allows your stability to then move on again. Yeah. Which then condensing that into a week is very unrealistic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but now we've learned all of that. We've gone through all of the physio treatment. We've gone through all of the stretching drills. We've got all the exercises ready to go. We've got a couple of days left. We've got all the tools that we need. We know what's going on biomechanically. Now it is time to grind away, get stretching as hard as we can for the next couple of days. And we're gonna find out how much progress we have made. Can we make it all the way down into the splits? So guys, this is it. A week of intense, intense stretching around two to three hours a day. And let's see how much I have improved my splits. We're gonna go through these three again and see where we're at from last time. I know there's gonna be some progression, but just how much has it been? Yeah. Nine. 
Nein. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> this is the tester now. This is the one that was horrible, absolutely horrible to start with. The start of the week. Let's see where we're at now. Keep going, got more in that. Oh. Oh, I wanted to get a little bit flatter, but it just shows you the different ways of how you can improve your mobility, how you can improve your muscle length. All of that stuff is really helps and it's definitely, definitely, definitely something that I'm going to continue with. My mobility is feeling so much better. So it just shows that kind of spending some time on your mobility, spending time learning to stretch, learning your body a little bit more can really, really have benefits on all your movements going forward. Just to give you some kind of like visual evidence about how much I actually did improve in this week's time, I know that it's not getting the splits completely, but five inches, five inch improvement is that much. It's a very, very, very considerable amount that is. The middle splits, we got seven inches. So look at that, it's about the size of your head. And that much deeper into the splits, I think is an incredible achievement to get only over seven days time. Right guys, and that is it. That is the challenge all wrapped up. The benefits that I've got from this have been absolutely incredible. My hips have felt so much better. My knee wasn't hurting nowhere near as much as what it was with my old hamstring injury. Right guys, and before I wrap the video up, I do want to quickly tell you about my blog. I am going to be launching a website very soon called Hindsight Fitness, where I'm going to have a blog relating to this YouTube video. I'm going to have have loads of other fitness challenges and loads of other tips and advice for you so if you want to go and check that out the link will be in the description box below thank you jack nile and luke and of course regen physio you guys have been absolutely awesome in helping me film this video if there is any other challenges you guys want me to try in a similar format or just anything at all just let me know in the comments down below and of course there is one last thing to say stay obsessed